Hello, this is a pace setter training video on how to import template documents into Xactimate to the template docs folder and how to attach documents in Xactimate in the attach docs folder for uploading to file review. So first of all, we're going to set up a scenario. Uh, we're looking at a folder here that I've made on my desktop, a sample folder. And I have the a little folder here with the insured's name, we'll pretend. Um, let's rename this. I have sample and insured folder, but let's rename this and just call it, I believe my little sample in Xactimate is called Robert Insured. So that's the name of our insured. So we'll make a little folder there. And then we have these invoices that we're going to import as templates and this activity report. These are for AFIX. This could be for any carrier that you work with where they give you some type of document that's a template document that you have to use every time. So we want to get that into Xactimate so we can open that document on each claim and have it fill out and populate with information. And then we can save that and then import that into our attach docs to upload the file. So what you have to do is get these documents from your manager that the carrier requires you to use, these templates. Save those on your desktop somewhere where you know where they're located. In this case, I'm just putting them in the sample folder to make it easier for this training video. So now let's go into Xactimate. I have the file here for Mr. Robert Insured. And the way we're going to get over here, let's get out of this for a second. I'll show you how to navigate to that in case you don't know. To get to the area we need to go to, we're going to go to Documents, Reports, and then this screen will open up. It may open to the Documents tab. That's where we want to be, but it might be defaulting in your last uh, screen you open to Estimate Reports, for instance. This is where we would set our report type and we would uh, be able to preview and maybe print the estimate itself. But what we want to do is go to the Documents tab. So again, that is Documents, Reports, and then the Documents tab. Under the Documents tab, you'll notice there are two subfolders or two sub tabs. Template Docs, which is where we're going to import and keep all of our templates. And then Attached Docs is where we would attach any documents directly to the file so that they will be there with the file when you upload that for file review, when you submit your claim. So let's get these templates in here. So what we're going to do first is select the Import button. Xactimate is going to open up a window to ask you, where are these? Now, I've got it pointed directly to these folders, but let's just say it was on the desktop. You've got to go find where those template docs are that the carrier has given you that you saved. So I've saved mine in this little test training folder, and there's the documents. So we want to import these three documents. So let's select these. You can highlight and select more than one document to import into template docs and attach docs. So those are the three we need. So let's select those and select open, and then they will appear in our template docs. Keep in mind that anything that you import into template docs here will permanently be in the template docs list until you manually delete them. And that means that anything that you import from various carriers that you have to use for template docs will remain in here when you open up any other files and, and then other carrier files you may open up for other uh, insurance companies you're working for. Those still will be in there and all these different templates will be in there. It's a repository for template documents. And once you import them here, they remain here permanently until you manually delete them out of this list. You can do that in any claim, any one claim you can go in import template docs or delete template docs and that means that any other claim you were to open that would be reflected you would have all those documents that you've imported or the documents that you may have deleted out in the list and another claim will be gone so it's kind of universal it's a universal view attached docs is a little different attached docs is just specific to that claim file you won't see those in other files but template docs you will see across files so here's our um, information here we've got in. Speaking to that, notice that I already had this prior request form in here from another carrier maybe. So I can see that, but now I can 
import these three in here and now i've got four claims or rather four documents in here and i'll be seeing those on various claims that i open up no problem you just select the one you need for that claim for that carrier you're working on so let's uh, open up one of these for instance so let's say let's do the invoice the daily invoice so the way you work template docs is you double click here in the template docs and it will open up it should open up the actual file. Now, in this case, we're using a AFIX invoice. It has a little glitch here. It doesn't populate properly. Let me see if this is going to work, and we'll we'll click over here. There we go. Now it's populated. The reason why I wanted to show you this is typically when carriers or management gives you template docs, not always, but typically. Uh, and you're importing those into template docs in Xactimate, the reason for that is the template itself will have Xactimate macros in it. In the background, that's what is in the background that pulls these numbers. And that's what an, uh, an Xactimate macro will do, is it will pull information from the claim. That's why when you import a template into template docs and you open it from within a claim, and that template doc has macros in it, it will pull all the information into the document from that claim. That's what's so good about template docs if they're set up that way. And as you see, when I uh, got this to populate, it's pulled in all the information from this test claim I've done, right? It's got the insured's name, it's got the payment who, who we are, it's got the file number, the claim number, the date of the invoice, has the uh, gross loss amount. And in this case, it's cross-referencing this gross loss amount of the estimate that I've written to the fee schedule in the background, and it is giving us the invoice amount. Those are all done by macros in the background. That is why templates are used a lot. They're not always used for macros. Sometimes they don't have macros, um, but oftentimes they do, and that's why we import them into Xactimate and then open them from inside the claim in Xactimate so that that macro in the template can pull the information from that claim into the document. In this case, we're done, let's say, and so we want to save this and we want to put that in the claim for upload. We want to attach it. So in this case, this is a little different. Normally, you would just do a file, save as, save it to the customer's folder and then we would import that into template docs with the afix they have a little different they have a little box here where you do click to save invoice in this case we would pick the customer's folder you always want to save it in the customer's folder so that was desktop test training and robert insured that's the actual folder i've made and we want to say okay save that in there one thing about template docs to keep in mind is if you open up an invoice or typically any template doc and you open it and it populates and you're done, you're ready to save that somewhere and then get it into the claim for upload, make sure that you don't select save. You don't want to save over the template. You want the template to be blank each time that you open it up. So make sure that you always select file, save as, and then it will I'll let you browse your computer and you can find the customer's folder, give it a name, and then save it in there. And then close the, the template doc and it won't save over the template doc. Next time you open the template doc, it won't have the previous information in it. Okay, so we've closed that. Now if we go look at our customer folder, we'll see that we have a couple of invoices in there that we've saved. We're going to import those shortly. So let's try that again with this narrative report. Remember, we imported that. This is what AFIX uses. It could be some type of template that whatever carrier you work for uses a certain template uh, for their narratives. It could be a GLR template. But let's open this. Same type of thing. I'm going to double click on it and open it within Xactimate in the claim. And it's going to open up that report and it will pull information in. It pulls in the date of the loss, the type of the loss. In this case, the adjuster would have to fill out other information here. It doesn't give all the information about damages and, and such. So let's say we fill all this out. We're done. Just like the invoice, we want to do a file, save as. We 
We're going to browse to that particular folder. In this case, again, desktop, test training, Robert insured. We're going to save it directly in the customer's folder. And we can leave it that name. Maybe the carrier has a specific naming criteria for their narratives that they want you to upload after you complete the narrative or an invoice. If they do, check with your manager. Some carriers do. They want them named a certain way when you upload them, not the template, but the actual file you save and fill out and upload. Some don't have a name. Check with your manager. In this case, let's say the carrier does have a name and they want this to they want it called narrative, for instance. So we're going to do save as like we have point it to the folder we want to save it in, the customer's folder, and we give it the name the carrier wants to call it, narrative. Now we select save. We can close the template now. Remember, we did a save as. We're not saving over the template. Now, if we go look at the customer's folder. Now we have our narrative in here. Let me refresh this and clean it up. Here's our little narrative that we just saved. So now we have all of our documents that the carrier wants as far as invoicing and a narrative that we're required to upload, for instance. So let's go attach those. So we go back to Xactimate and the claim, and now we're going to switch over to the attached docs folder. Now I have some in here from a previous attachment. We're going to delete all this. Normally, this would be clean. Normally, it will look like this. If you have a new claim, there's nothing attached in here. You're going to start attaching documents. So it's very similar to the template docs. Import. We want to import any attached docs. We want to go into the customer's folder. Select all the documents that we want to import to be in our attached documents folder. And then open. And they will show up here. Now, keep in mind that this could be also any other type of documents that you want to attach to the claim to send up. For instance, let's say you had a contractor's invoice or a contractor's estimate or the they have a PA and the PA provided you a assignment of benefits or maybe a letter of representation that they're representing uh, the insured and it's signed. You would import those documents here in attached docs like any attached docs. You can have multiple documents in here. Maybe you have a carrier that requires you to do price verification for any personal property over, let's say, $100, for instance, and the insured had a grill and an outdoor furniture set that were damaged by hail, and you're going to pay the insured for those two items. They're both over $100, so you have to go price verify the insurance. Uh, the insured gave you a price on those, and you've got to go get some documents to prove that it costs that much. Um, and you would PDF those and import those into the attached docs here. Okay. So now we would, once we're completed with the file, we would upload the file for review once you've got everything else done. Keep in mind that in ta attached docs folder, this works sort of like an email. Try to think of it as an email. When you attach documents to an email and you send that email out to somebody, they get the email and they get any documents attached to that email. And this kind of works the same way. So any documents that you have in the attached docs folder will automatically go up with the file when you save and exit and close and send it up for file review. So just keep that in mind. Also keep in mind that any documents you attach here in attach docs, you'll only see in this file. So if you open up another claim and you look in attach docs, that will be empty again. However, remember, if you open up another claim and look in your template docs folder, all of those templates will still be there. That is a universal view across claims. The attached docs folder is not. It's specific to each claim. So you don't have to clean this out each time you open up a file from the previous attached documents that you did. That You're only attaching documents for that file. So I hope that makes sense. Again, if you have any more questions, you can always call your manager. Don't be hesitant to contact your claims manager. They're there to help you and support you. 
Hope you have a great day, and we'll be talking to you soon on the next training video. Bye-bye now.